Hello City fans, we are back outside the Etihad, as you can see, Bristol City on Tuesday night, fifth round of the FA Cup. I'm a massive fan of the FA Cup, it's a real special competition. Used to be on for, for hours and hours and hours, didn't it? Back in the day, the coverage was incredible, especially on final day. And City have become accustomed to winning cup competitions of late. So as I say, here we are, good win at the weekend. Really, really impressed with what I saw. Intensity, fight, which you always get from Man City, but class as well. The manager changed it up a little bit, two up top. I don't think we're going to see that again for Man City in this game. The reason behind that is I don't think he'd risk Haaland. I think it'd be daft to risk Haaland in a game like this. Bristol City were expecting to, you know, to, to get past really and putting the big Norwegian on with the amount of minutes he's played. I think would be maybe a little bit naive and Pep will know that. But it's an important game. Hugely important game for City. I think momentum's key. It's absolutely key in, in periods like this. You know, and for me, you know, City haven't kept a clean sheet in a long time. A long time now. And I think there has to be an assemblance of, uh, of real core grit and quality once again at the back. And I think it was disappointing for me that we weren't able, that City weren't able to get the all, you know, decisive clean sheet against the Bournemouth side who was struggling at the minute. And especially when you, 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 you know, you're, you're leading the game like that, 4-0 up. You know, I think you've got to close the game out. And this is what Pep will be targeting for this one, for me, Bristol City. He'll be targeting a clean sheet, a good win and a good performance. So as I said at the start, I don't think it's going to be a case of City starting Erling Haaland in this. I don't think we're going to see two up top, which I think worked really, really well against Bournemouth. I really enjoyed the almost little and large partnership that we saw between Haaland and Alvarez. You know, anytime Haaland would have a strike on goal, anytime Alvarez would have a strike on goal, one of them was there to interpret that finish. And that's what, you know, you do as a, as a partnership up top. That's why it was so popular back in the 80s and 90s, you know. It was all about the rebounds, the second balls of the, of, of the um, you know, of the partner striker, having a real relationship between those two. And I'd like to see that progress between Erling Haaland and Julian Alvarez. But as I say, I think we'll go with, I think City will go with one up top, which I think will still be effective in the system. I thought it was really good to see Calvin Phillips come on in the 55th minute, Gomez to get 40 minutes as well, because City fans, as much as Phillips and as much as Gomez have been, you know, criticised and, and rightly so at points, they've not had enough minutes. And, you know, when you're coming on for three minutes, when you're coming on for four minutes, you're not going to be able to build up form. You're not going to be able to get rid of that rust. So involving these players in, 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 in important games like this for, for large periods of time, it's going to be beneficial to Manchester City and beneficial to those players. But, you know, that's why City really need to start building up leads and comfortably being 2-0 up, comfortably being 3-0 up, having that intensity still grinding teams down even when we're two, when City are 2-3-0 up. And when that happens, that's when you can rotate and that's when you can really rotate with quality and get these players minutes. Um, just get a seat in the background there. As you can all see. Love the day. Every time I'm down here, it's lovely. Um, maybe a good luck charm. But yeah, so that's what I think needs to start happening. Obviously, Phillips and, and Gomez and Maximo Peroni. We saw him make his his first Premier League senior uh, appearance. I thought he looked lively when he came on. Expect to see him against Bristol City as well on Tuesday night. And as I say, everyone, it's a real opportunity for Man City to be able to stamp their authority down, not just go through to the next round. But keep a clean sheet, keep those important players who are important when it comes to rotation this season playing and playing well. That's what we, that's what City need right now, I think. I think that's what City need. I think, you know, those rotation elements and building Phillips and building Peroni and building Gomez up in those roles so players like Rodri can be rested, for example, when you're talking about Calvin Phillips, is absolutely essential. It really is to build in a, a, real, a real successful makeup for the rest of the season. So yeah, really impressed with what I saw at the weekend when it came to Man City, a real dominant performance and something hopefully the Blues can build on. But best believe Bristol City will be up for this one. 
not doing remarkably well in the championship, but they'll be up for this one. We know form goes out the window when it comes to cup competitions. They'll fancy themselves. There'll be a packed out. It'll be a packed out Ashton Gate as well. So you know, City have got to be on the money. But City have got more than enough quality to be able to dispatch this Bristol City side, even with rotation. You know, when you're looking at Calvin Phillips, for example, Calvin Phillips was the one who at Leeds United was dictating that midfield for the full championship season. You know, when he's a rotation op option, so best believe some of our rotation options will be able to deal with this and they should be able to deal with it as well. So I'm excited, to, I'm, I'm excited for this one. I'm excited to see what City can bring and yeah, I'd really be interested to know your score predictions in the section, but I'd also be interested to know what you'd like, you'd rather do with the lineup, everybody. Would you start two up top? Would you bring Phillips in from the start? Would you bring Gomez in, Maximo Peroni? Would you go with the same starting lineup as we had against Bournemouth? Just efficiency, then rotating later on. I also want to know your score predictions. I'm going to go with Bristol City nil, Manchester City four. I'm going to go with a clean sheet and a dominant performance. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe as always, everybody. As I say, let us know exactly what you think in the comment section below. We'll see you in a bit. Cheers.